Hi YouTube, just got me taking a break. Again, this is Papa Keeves. So, tutupi ako ng labada kasi kakatuyo lang kanina. So, for this week's video, uh, we'll go into yung sinabi ko last week with regards to a comparison of nice hash and direct mining specifically yung direct mining na ginawa ko with Ethereum under Ethermine in New Single Miner. So, siguro I'll go into it uh, with the steps na I went through while I was starting for both of them. So first, syempre, you have to get started. And to get started, I think most of us, kung gusto nating matuto ng bago skill, uh, matuto ng bagong hobby, or just to start something, we do research para matutunan natin lahat ng pwede natin matutunan or malaman regarding that topic. So, for both of them, madali lang naman to research as long as you have internet and you know how to use Google and YouTube. Madali lang siyang gawin. Siguro ang difference lang with both is the, the scope of the research that you'd have to do uh, with NiceHash versus direct mining. Sa NiceHash kasi, just type in setting up NiceHash, getting started with NiceHash, lalabas ka agad. Ipapakita niya agad sa iyo kung ano yung uh, magagandang sources, ano yung... And dadalhin ka niya sa mismong site ng NiceHash. And then, with NiceHash, meron dun mga parang uh, articles with regards to how to get started, uh, yung basic settings for your graphics cards, for each graphics card na meron. And then, meron din yung ano yung impact ng mining with regards to your hardware, your CPU, your GPU. Meron ka agad dun para ma-way mo kung if it's something that you'll, you'd want to do. No? For direct mining, medyo mas marami kang i-research. Una-una, anong type of coin ang gusto mong i-mine? Kasi marami dyan. Ethereum right now, parang yung pinakasikat na cryptocurrency na minamine ngayon. Because it's the most profitable one. Pero pwede ka rin mag-mine ng Ravencoin. Pwede ka rin mag-mine ng uh, Vertcoin. Uh, if you're into CPU mining, pwede ka rin mag-mine ng Monero. So, with that, you'd have to research kung para sa'yo, ano yung parang mas profitable, easier to set up, mga ganun. So, dun pa lang may additional step ka na with regards to uh, um, research. Secondly, anong miner ang gagamitin mo? Uh, will you go NB Miner, LOL Miner, Phoenix Miner? So, you'd have to research that para makita ko ng mga pros and cons of each. Third, you'd have to check kung anong, kung which mining pool ang gagamitin mo. Will you go with Ethermine, which is one of the uh, biggest uh, mining pools for Ethereum available. Um, pwede ka rin mag Flex Pool, Spark Pool, uh, ano ba yung mga iba? So, yun. So, and then, also, you'd have to also research kung anong type of wallet ang gagamitin mo. Kasi for NiceHash, if you're comfortable with just leaving your uh, mine cryptocurrency in your NiceHash account, meron siyang, once you sign up for a NiceHash account, meron ka na kagad automatic na parang NiceHash wallet na doon napupunta yung minamine mo. So, if you're comfortable with that and you don't actually, you're not thinking of transferring it to your personal wallet, that's up to you. So, that's one step na nabawasan sa'yo. Yun yung, uh, yun yung path na kukunin mo. Pero kung direct mining, it's not an option. You need to find and set up a uh, crypto wallet that supports the coin that you're trying to mine. Para dun siya napupunta. As you can see, mas marami kang research with uh, direct mining versus nice hash. Pero, at the end of the day, it's research, so you'd have to weigh uh, your commitment to what you're gonna do. Next is setting it up. So, setting up for um, direct mining, specifically for Ethermine, what I did was I set up my wallet, I set up my miner, 
So, in-install ko siya. Nananap ko yung uh, installer, downloaded the installer, installed the application, and then, pag na-install na siya, I need to find, with regards to my mining pool, uh, I think it's the server kung saan ako magmamine, and you'd have to find some uh, the server that's closest to your to where you are para mas hindi ganun kalaki yung yung ping nung habang nagmamine ka and then pahanapin mo yung that bat file nung miner na yun para dun mo i-edit and input yung mga details niya so yun yung how to you actually set up with regards to direct mining specifically for ether mine uh, for mining ethereum and using ether mine and lol miner it might differ from other coins, from other miners, from other uh, uh, mining pools, so you'd have to do. This is anecdotal at best. So, talagang experience ko lang to. Versus Nice Hash. Once you've signed up for Nice Hash, uh, download their uh, mining software. Once you run it, uh, it will, and then you log in, it will automatically populate kung ano yung Nice Hash wallet mo dun sa kung saan ang pupunta yung mga minamine mo. And then, you just have to double check kung yung region with regards to yung app. May app. Yung app kasi mismo, maganda yung UI niya. And then, you just have to navigate and then change yung mga details na kailangan mong i-change. So, yun. Basically, ganun lang siya yung setting up. For the mining part, for NiceHash, once you run the application, meron malaking play button dun sa application na yun. Just hit that and you're mining. On your first run, magbe-benchmark lang siya uh, with all the parang mineable cryptocurrencies using your graphics card para makita nila yung performance graphics card na yun dun sa mga coins na yun. That leads into actually one of the best, I think it's one of the best features for NiceHash for uh, beginner miners. Kasi ang gagawin niya, um, NiceHash will always check while you're mining if what you're mining is profitable. If it's not, it will shift to a different cryptocurrency that's more uh, profitable for you. So, more or less parang plug and play lang siya. Once you play, you, you don't have to check if maganda ba performance ni Ethereum, maganda ba performance ni Bitcoin. As long as it's profitable, it will mine it. If it's not, it will shift to a different cryptocurrency. So, that's one of the parang... Uh, newbie-friendly features ni NiceHash. On the other end, ang gagawin mo lang naman pagka magmamine ka na with uh, Ethermine for my end um, is you just click, double-click on the .bat file that you edited and then open nyo na yung mining window na yun. And while you're mining, dito na papasok yung magmamonitor ka na ng profitability ng coins mo. Kasi as long as hindi mo sinastop yung miner mo, you're gonna mine that coin. Regardless of profitability. Regardless if you're making money. Regardless if you're losing money. So, yun niya. Mas, siguro mas tutok pa dapat. And mas alam mo kung ano yung galaw ng market. With regards to the, cur the cryptocurrency that you're mining. And then lastly, syempre, importante is payout. Full transparency, hindi pa talaga ako nag-withdraw. With regards to yung mga na mine ko na cryptocurrency. Hindi ko pa sila kinakash out into peso. So, I haven't had that experience kung gano'ng katagal. Kung, pero yung payout mismo nung minamine mo to your wallet, uh, yun, uh, I, I have experience with that. And for uh, Ethereum mining, specifically for Ether mine, ang, as I indicated last, last, uh, last week, it pays out every 15 days as long as you hit 0 0.05 ethereum or lower so since 1 gpu lang i think yun lang talaga yung may expect ko for my uh, for my situation so in in between 15 days hindi mo ma check kung kumusta na yung ano mo may makikita ka lang na total lagi it's always the total number of ethereum that you've mined during that generation pero hindi mo alam hindi mo mabe-break hindi mo siya mabe-break down per day per hour per per week or per every 3 days hindi as in total na agad siya so pagka ano yun after that after the 15 days and you've hit yung threshold na yun 
dediretso siya dun sa uh, crypto wallet na sinetup mo in your miner. So, for NiceHash naman, every 4 hours, you're gonna have a payout to your uh, NiceHash wallet as long as you hit 0 0.00001 Bitcoin. So, as long as within the 4 hours, you hit uh, 0 0.00001 Bitcoin, magpe-payout siya dun sa NiceHash wallet mo. And this was very helpful for my situation kasi diba tinatrack ko siya. And I was trying to make it parang... I was trying to make a table para mapakita sa inyo yung data. And makita ko siya every 4 hours. Who does this? So parang compute ko per day kung, magka, kung ilan yun na mamain ko na Bitcoin and magkano yun na mamain ko versus yung sa Ethereum. For, pero that's just my use case. That's why I feel that NiceHash is better in that situation. You can see, may mga differences talaga yung dalawa. And, which is better, I really can't say. Kasi it, I think it depends on your situation, on what you're actually planning to do. If you're just someone na merong uh, magandang hardware, magandang PC, magandang GPU, that you just want to, na, 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 feel mo na medyo, nasasayangan ka kasi hindi mo siya masyad nagagamit, idle time, so wala nang ginagawa. Uh, and then you just want it to earn money, I think NiceHash is a good way to go. Kasi, um, very limited, uh, parang very minimal research, uh, very minimal yung pagpunta mo sa iba-ibang sources para makita yung information na kailangan mo. And then it's plug and play. Once you have it installed, set up, you press play literally on the application and mag magmamine siya. So that's, I think that's a better use case for NiceHash. Pero if you're someone who's actually into cryptocurrency talaga, and then you're looking at uh, mining with your uh, gaming PC as a, a permanent source of income, I think it's actually good to go into, to double in direct mining. Kasi you get to learn more about other cryptocurrencies, kung kumusta ba yung progress nila? Are they actually thinking about moving away from uh, proof of work, which is mining, and then just move to proof of stake? Um, ilan ba yung uh, parang limit or market cap ng coin na yun? If it's still possible to actually mine it in the future? Or will you need to up upgrade your um, GPU kasi hindi na kaya nung VRAM ng GPU mo yung specific cryptocurrency na yun. So, it's I think that's an, a better use case for uh, direct mining kasi you get to learn more about cryptocurrency. Pero if you're just someone who's actually looking to make an extra buck um, with your idle gaming PC, I think NiceHash is a good option. Especially if you're just a newbie eh, like me. So, for me, I might look into other crypto coins in the future to mine to see kung ano ba yung kasi medyo ano rin ako eh, I, I also do some investing in cryptocurrency so the, the information uh, is very helpful for me para makita kung kung kumusta ba yung progress ng coin na yan I think that's it though cop out hindi ko sinagot yung question I, I as I've always said I highly suggest that you do your own research with regards to this kasi I iko lang makapagsabi if it's worthwhile adventure to go into kasi it's your it's your PC it's your decision it's your time so you you'd have to be the one to actually decide kung which one would you go for ayun thank you for joining me with this video uh, medyo boring na usapan i know pero para sa akin hindi kasi pera siya <laughs> so yun um again if you like the video, press like. If you disliked it, dislike. Uh, hope you can share the video to other people who are actually thinking about uh, or looking for other uh, income streams um, to see, lalo na if meron na silang medyo maganda-gandang hardware with the PC. And for next week's video though, hindi ko pa sure kung ano yung may content natin. More, siguro more going back to gaming na lang siguro or the performance of this PC or 
probably cable management if that's something that's interesting. If you like the content, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be notified when, once I have a new video coming out next week. Hopefully. And I hopefully you get to chill with me again next week when the stay-at-home land takes another break. Bye.